This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, so yesterday I had a, a really interesting comment on, on a video and I'm going to try and say your name properly but I'm super sorry if I get it totally wrong because this looks to me to be some sort of Scandinavian name which it's going to be a mouthful. So if this sounds like I'm just trying to pronounce IKEA furniture, I'm sorry. So it seems to be Herfener Arnafjell. Herfener Arnafjell. I don't know how you would say that. Anyway, he had a suggestion. I have an idea for a video series that I don't know if I've mentioned before. You reacting to presets that we send you. Maybe we pay you to look at them or you do it as a live stream so those donations can be made or something. So I thought maybe that's an interesting idea. So thank you for, for suggesting that. Oh, I'm going to try again. Herfner on Afjel, which <laughs> might be the coolest name I've ever seen. But yeah, if you are a Patreon member or a, a YouTube member, maybe that would be the way that we can try and keep it so that I'm not having to do this all week. But if you're a Patreon member and uh, a, or a, a YouTube member, then uh, I guess send me an email. And this is something we could try to do where sort of I just have a look at your presets um, and try and play them. Now, I don't think that I've got any sort of special ear or anything. I just spend quite a lot of time playing guitar. so. I'm not saying that this is something I should do, but Herfener does. Um, so let me know if that'd be of interest. Now I'm going to build a preset that you can pretty much only do in Helix easily. Now Fractal can do something like this, but it's a little bit more difficult because the notes are represented in a 
frequency kind of way. This was a request I think someone asked me, could I build an acoustic preset with the ability to run pads underneath? So that's what I'm gonna do in this video for you. Um, you can grab the presets at Gumroad. I think I need to put a, a separate link up for pad presets still on Gumroad. So um, yeah, that's how you can do that. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'm gonna show you all the settings so you can build this preset yourself if you need to. Cheers. So the starting point here is gonna be the Chase Bliss a, a acoustic preset, which you can actually grab from the folder. Gumroad, so um, um, what yeah, this essentially does do is, I've got this like expression pedal here with it I'm off. Show you all the settings. You should probably hear. It's basically just normal um, acoustic. Bring the expression pedal in, I get some of that really cool. stuff doing that so what I'm gonna do I think so what I got I've got four blocks here at the moment so I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff uh, for this to work so maybe if I get rid of this uh, the auto pan is what is actually making it do that stuff so maybe if I just get rid of the reverse delay uh, or just get rid of the glitch I think the glitch will be useful so I'm gonna just do this get rid of that and action well instead we'll just change it for this so the reason that this is pretty cool I think is that we can use the three note generator and what is super cool about this is that you have the note names now in fractal land uh, they can do something like this but they don't have the note names uh, in there so you have to go kind of by uh, number you know so you have to figure out stuff so I'm going to set this to be a sawtooth wave because that has a, a really nice sound and what you're going to want to do is change them all to this to start with and then decide what key you're going to be playing this in because obviously this is something you're going to have to set up for um, each kind of you know time you want to use it so today I feel like playing in E so actually if I have this set to rid of that for now um, have we got any EQ on here no So you can set it up really quickly like that. Another thing that I want to do though, I think, I'm gonna get rid of this retro reel here. And instead have an EQ down on this block. And use this to really get a bit more of a natural and I might even change this out for some sort of different thing shimmer probably so 
So now we can roll in when we want this kind of E synth. Um, so let me then uh, let me just save that. Um, I just want to tune for. Okay, so. So what I could also do though is go into snapshot mode like this and what we're going to do is then just set up an E so we're going to have snapshot 1 will be called E snapshot 2 I'm going to move this bass note to C sharp snapshot 3 So now we've got three chords. Oh wait, I need to change. Um, let me just change. You could obviously easily set up that sort of thing for different kind of things. If you had an HX Stomp XL, you could have another chord on top of that, which maybe I might quickly just do for now for this intro. And yeah, if you want to keep the balance of these a little bit more reasonable, then maybe you'd keep this B level down a bit more just to get the balance. Maybe I just turn the level up here. But that's how I was doing the introduction there. But that's some really cool. I, I really do enjoy using that block for some outside the box kind of things. Uh, on the fractal as I say you can do this stuff but instead of note values it actually gives you like the hertz value of notes so it takes a little bit more work to build this sort of thing. Uh, so HX Stomp, Helix, all of this stuff is really good for this kind of thing. Um, I'll catch you in another video soon. Again let me know in the comments if you think that idea of uh, Herfener, is that how you say that? Our oh, Nafjals um, and we'll see if we can figure out a way to do that. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers for now.